Today, we're looking at the Solar Cool Bag Undercover. Now, it's the Solar Undercover Cool Bag, not Cool Bag sure. whilst Undercover. Oh. <sighs> So this is the Solar Undercover Cool Bag, now out from under the cover. But before we jump into this, please make sure you are subscribed to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads coming up from us. And also follow us on all the social media platforms on the bottom of your screen right now for regular daily updates. So to start with, this bag boasts the same material that all the Undercover range features, which is a 600D material. It's a nice and hard wearing and really nice camo pattern. I think you'll agree. I quite like the more understated, duller colors on a camo pattern rather than those really in your face, really blocky type uh, camos that we've come to know in previous years. But some camos are starting to go down this sort of route and I think it's a really smart looking thing to start with. So nice and hard wearing materials. You've got two different ways of carrying it. One of which is with the two grab handles, which is Again, nice heavy duty handles. They're stitched together at the bit where you uh, hold it with your hands. So it's double thickness here and makes it nice and comfortable. And then you've also got the addition of a shoulder strap, which is fixed into place. So this isn't removable, worth noting. But a little padded uh, shoulder strap there, fully adjustable on the side. So you can carry this in two different ways. If we flip onto the bottom of the bag, you can see it's reinforced with a white clean type base so it doesn't matter what sort of ground you're putting it on water shouldn't ingress through the bottom and it's also nice and easy to clean it off now there's two main compartments to this bag so it's nice and simple i haven't got to go around loads of different mesh pockets because at the end of the day this isn't a tackle bag it's something to keep your food items cool on the very front though is a dual zipped pocket all the both compartments are dual zip nice heavy duty as well big zips and in here i've managed to store my kettle which has lost its lid somewhere take that out and my stove so there's room for a, both of those things in there maybe your stove and pan or something in there but stacks of room i think this is something like 25 centimeters by i'm not going to remember all the different dimensions actually so probably best checking that on the website but it's as you can see it can fit a substantial size kettle in there with room to spare a stove and the gas canister all in that front pocket so perfect for those sort of items that don't need to be kept in the main cool bag if we then go to the main compartment again dual zips nice and easy to open up you'll see that we're greeted by what you'd expect on a cool bag this reflective silver material which notes is well actually i can feel the coolness coming from it. it's quite a muggy day i put some cool packs in this and now i've lifted it i can feel the cool air that's in this so it's doing its job which is good to know on the very top of the lid there's a mesh pocket now at the moment i've just got my cutlery and things in there i could probably put them in there this could also be designed to keep smaller things that need to be cool in there or maybe some ice packs like so but it's nice that there's a little pocket to keep things separate but uh, yeah that's probably is designed for a cool pack so i'm using it for cutlery stupidly but anyway it's also nice or worth noting there's a, a a lip feature to this cool bag so as you can see the zip is set down by a couple of inches so when it goes round you can probably see it on the second camera. I have to actually put the, lip, the zip around the cool bag. So there's actually a lip so rain can't really ingress in there. And also, I guess it helps to trap the cooler air in there. If you didn't have it zipped up, you just had it like this. It should trap the cooler air in there without having to use the zip. So that's quite a nice little feature. And then on the inside, it's just one big cavernous space. So I've got some milk in there my drink i did put my stove in the bottom because this ridge monkey one doesn't quite fit in the front pocket or less i'll give it another try it didn't fit with the stove and everything in oh it does there we are i tell a lie so if you don't have your stove in there you can fit a ridge monkey pan in the front with room to spare around so it's up to you what you want to stick in the front a couple more cool ice blocks which is still frozen they've been in there since this morning a little bit of uh, melting as well but it is a muggy day and i haven't had much in here so the more you fill out a cool bag with cool items the cooler it will stay i just put some ice packs in there and my drink and nothing else cold in there so the stuff that went in was obviously warming up the inside so if you fill that properly with uh, frozen goods it's perfect but the size of this i don't think it's designed for a longer session i think 24 hours 
probably tops because the amount of food you'd fit in here would probably see you for 24 hours maybe a push going to 48 if it's just keeping your cold items in here so if you've got some cold tinnies in here your meat your veg and stuff like that you want to keep cold i think that's perfectly what it's designed for because it isn't a massive bag so if you're looking for a, a nice little session bag this could be the one for you because it takes that sort of amount of stuff on the inside so i'm just going to slowly pack this all away i used this on a session the other week actually where it was pushing 20 i think it's well 25 26 27 degrees i had it for 48 hours sat in the baking sun and i didn't have a lot of cold stuff in there the first 24 hours absolutely fine but i rammed it with so much sort of stuff that didn't need to be kept cold that by the second day it wasn't as cold as i'd have liked but it's only because i used it on a on a longer session and didn't put frozen stuff in to start with so if you start with frozen stuff of course it's going to keep cooler for longer but as i said for the size of this bag i would recommend this being a long day session or 24 hour sort of session so that is the solar undercover cool bag for more information please do visit the solar website i think this is available for around the 34.99 mark is what i saw this morning so at the point of filming you're looking at about 35 quid for a nice decent hard wearing that's going to last cool bag from solar so as i said earlier please do make sure you've subscribed to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads and please follow us on all the social media platforms or at least some of them that are coming up on the bottom of your screen right now that's it for me for now cheers for watching and i'll see you again soon Can you subscribe on that little one there? Or watch that one? Or that one? I might be behind them, I don't know. Your choice. <laughs>